the UFC in Texas was a lot of fun. It had some interesting outcomes and some unpredictable finishes, but it's coming back to the apex for UFC Vegas 83. And the first fight that I'm going to talk about is a prelim fight between a couple ladies that really it could go either way. Luana Santos versus Stephanie Egger. So Luana Santos, she actually made her UFC debut back in August of this year, and she ended up winning that fight. That was against Juliana Miller. Now, Juliana Miller, she's probably been in a lot of fights in her time, but not a lot of UFC level fights. She looked really sloppy. However, she can take a lot of damage, and Santos was giving her a lot of it. She was out within the first round, and I think Santos is really going to bring that pressure and that heat in this fight. Stephanie Egger, she is 12 years older than Santos, which I don't think is going to be a benefit in any way. Also, her last win hasn't been since September of 2022, also not a benefit for her. And just looking at her resume, she doesn't have a lot of fights more than Santos, even though she is 12 years older. But her resume isn't impressive, to me anyway, with the wins that she's gotten. So there's really nothing here to sway me into thinking that Stephanie Egger is going to come out with a win here. I really think that Santos is going to try to make a winning streak in the UFC. So give me Luana Santos for the win with this prelim. <laughs> Jumping right over to the co-main event on the main card, Anthony Smith versus Khalil Roundtree. This one's going to be an interesting one and one of those fights where I am not picking with my heart, I am picking with my head because like I've told you before, I do not do well when I pick with my heart instead of my head. So I'm not doing that. You're not going to trap me. Anthony Smith, I love him. He's a vet. I have been watching him for years. He is fun to watch. And this is why I can't pick him because I did just see him in Charlotte. And honestly, with that fight versus Johnny Walker, it looked like he was just trying to survive and not really thriving. And you will not win a fight if it goes to the judges by decision if you are not showing up and showing out. And this fight in particular for Khalil, he is using this to kind of elevate him and springboard him to be noticed more. He's using Anthony Smith as a reason for fans to notice him and also he wants to be a main event and he thinks that Anthony Smith by beating him is going to get him there. Both of these guys like to knock their opponents out. Khalil is really good at doing that and Anthony if he gets worn down he leaves himself open for this to happen. Khalil's got a lot of fuel behind this. He's really trying to prove himself also, another thing that's not going to work in Anthony's favor, in my opinion, he has not had a full camp. Khalil has. So he is ready to go in this fight. I just, I hate to say it, but as much as I love to see Anthony Smith win, and I won't ever be mad at a win, I just don't see that happening here for this co-main event. So give me Roundtree for the win. And last up, the co-main event that does make me really nervous, Song Yudong versus Chris Gotiez. Now, this one is going to be fun to watch. First of all, it's always fun to watch Song Yudong fight anyway. But then Chris, he's opposite in Song, where Song, he's really going to try to punch his face off. Chris, however, is going to try to kick his face off. So you've got these two opponents that are going to use similar but different tactics, and it's really just going to be who's going to leave themselves open, who's going to get sloppy, who's going to level change, not pay attention. All of these different things really is what's going to determine who's going to win this fight. Now, just like the co-main event, I do think for Song's favor, it will help him that he has had a full camp. Chris, he is coming off of a win also, but that was two months ago. He just won his last fight two months ago in October, so he hasn't really had a lot of time to train and recover and kind of hone in on what he needs to do to win against Song, who is feisty, he's got a ton of energy, he's really fast, really quick. All of this stuff I think is going to work in his favor. It's going to be an interesting fight though to watch. I think Song's going to come away with a win here in this main event for UFC Vegas 83. But you know what? Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, comment. You can also follow me on Twitter. We can watch this together because I watch them all prelims to the main event. I'll be there the whole time. I love it. I can't wait. And plus there's always crazy stuff going on whether 
Reps are waiting a little too long to end a fight, probably stopping it a little too early. There's all kinds of stuff. There's always something that we can talk about. Watch these fights together, you know? Hey, why not? But either way, let's have a little Christmas cheer, shall we, while we uh, watch some violence? UFC Vegas 83, let's get it. Knockout, no! 